Whenever people are new to the fighting game genre, there are always some common phrases I usually hear. Something along the lines of, What did he just do? Or, Bro, I'm blocking, bro. But they proceed to get hit. Nine times out of ten, you're either not blocking or not blocking properly. You went head first straight into the game without practicing this one simple thing. Now I get it. Who wants to practice defense? Why would you sit there and block when you can do sick looking combos that make you feel good? After all, they're called fighting games, not waiting games. However, defense can be just as cool as offense, sometimes even cooler when you can appreciate the theory behind it. And defense isn't just blocking either. There are a lot of factors that go into it. So today, we're going to explore the art of defense and how games implement ways for you to defend yourself. If you want to see more videos like this, then make sure to subscribe. And also thank you for 20k. Now there are a plethora of ways for you to defend yourself in fighting games. Some are hard to pull off and others are relatively easy. Just like how easy it is to get meals from today's sponsor. HelloFresh is the perfect solution for you to enjoy delicious home-cooked meals without the annoying parts like grocery shopping and meal planning. Everything you need gets delivered straight to your door. All the ingredients are already portioned to make it faster and easier to follow the recipes that are included. They even have limited time seasonal recipes that you can order too. For example, their festive fare collection includes classic winter holiday meals, elevated with seasonal produce and premium proteins. And you don't have to worry about limited options either. HelloFresh has over 35 weekly recipes for you to choose from, with calorie smart and carb smart options too. On top of that, you can customize your meals to your liking by swapping proteins or sides. And if you're worried about price, it's actually cheaper than grocery shopping and 25% cheaper than takeout. So if you're looking to cut back costs on delivery, HelloFresh is a great alternative that not only tastes good, but also saves you money. If you're looking to try out HelloFresh today, make sure to click my link below while you still can. Again, thank you to HelloFresh for sponsoring, and I hope you guys enjoy the rest of this video. The first way you can defend yourself is by not defending at all. Just run away and don't get hit. It's that easy. This is something that universally works in every fighting game. Whether that's by dashing backwards, sides stepping, jumping, or this? Whee! Okay, I'm getting distracted. But something that's kind of different about Brahal is that you can only defend yourself by avoiding attacks. Most fighting games have an RPS-like system where generally speaking, block beats attack, attack beats grab, and grab beats block. Of course, the odds aren't always equal, but it looks something like this. In Brahala, however, a YouTuber by the name of Schwerpy pointed out that Brahala's triangle is more like a line, as the game doesn't have a throw or a block option. You can probably guess that this makes the game more passive, since it's advantageous to run away, and it is. They have made changes to mitigate this like adding more cooldown to dodges and adding wall slip to reduce stalling, but you can only do so much without making major changes. In traditional fighting games, there can also be situations where dodging is your only option. For example, unblockable moves require you to dash back or jump to avoid them, but something that dodging can do that regular blocking can't is give you a chance to retaliate on the offensive side no matter the move. When you block a move, you're put into a stunned state. The length of the state changes depending on the move, and it also affects what move you can punish with or if you can punish at all. But if you dodge the attack entirely, you won't be put into a stunned state which allows you to attack back right away. Being able to position yourself out of range of an attack, but also being close enough to punish is the general basis of footsies. Now this is easier said than done. It requires a lot of movement practice and even more matchup knowledge. You're essentially memorizing each each character's attack range and then following up with a specific attack of your own. Once you get it down though, it feels amazing. Yes sir! Don't whiff! Moving on to blocking, this is the defensive option you'll use 90% of the time. If you've ever wondered why people immediately crouch when blocking, it's because in most fighting games, holding down back blocks both mid attacks and low attacks. This position only leaves you susceptible to overheads, which are fairly reactable in most cases. But with that being said, you can't just block forever. Mechanics like gray health and chip damage are often implemented. Charge characters also get an added benefit for blocking too. They can use their charged moves right away after a block string, since the whole time they are pressing down back, which charges their moves. Characters like Guile would be able to throw a boom or a flash kick right after. Being really defensive and holding down back like this is also a style of play. Turtling is often seen by characters like Balrog or Guile for the reasons that I explained earlier. You're able to minimize the amount of risk by forcing the opponent to attack first while covering as many options as possible, like a turtle retracting into its shell. Another way to beat an attack is to throw one of your own. And not like how you would whiff punish one, but rather throw one out at the same time. This requires you to know the frame data, but if you have an attack that will take the same amount of frames to connect with theirs, you can use it to cause trades or clashes. This not only stops them from converting on their combo, but in some cases it can grant you combos too. It's very situational and probably won't happen a lot, but it is cool when you get the opportunity to use it. The next defensive mechanic on this list isn't universal to every fighting game, but it is often seen in anime fighters like Guilty Gear, Persona Arena, and Blaze Blue. 
occasionally you will see it in other genres, but at least from what I've seen, it's mostly anime fighters. If you're about to take an unholy amount of damage and can't do anything about it, bursting is your failsafe option. It pushes the opponent far away and resets both of you to neutral. You do have to be careful in choosing when to use it though, because if you become too predictable, your opponent will catch on and bait the burst out of you, causing you to take even more damage. In Guilty Gear, there are two different bursts you can do. The first one is the normal blue burst, which is kind of what I explained, and the second one is the gold burst. The difference between the two is that the blue one only activates when you get hit by the opponent, and the gold one can only be activated in neutral. Both essentially do the same thing, but the gold burst gives you full meter if it hits your opponent. It's rare to see people use gold burst, but there are some cases where it's useful. And finally, parry. The best for last. Just like the burst mechanic, this move isn't universal, but in my opinion, it looks the coolest out of all of them. And I don't even have to say it, you guys already know why. I'm not gonna play the whole clip because you've probably seen it thousands of times, but yes, Evo Moment 37 shows why parrying is so cool. This move was first seen in Samurai Showdown 2, but Street Fighter Third Strike definitely popularized it for obvious reasons. Now if you take everything I told you and try to use at least 3 of them appropriately in response to what your opponent does, it's not easy to remember all of that. But there is one option that I haven't mentioned yet. This is the dark side, okay? Once you choose this lifestyle, there's no turning back. The last defensive option is called Wake Up Dragon Punch. Yep, that's right. Every single defensive situation you're faced with, you just DP. There's no other option now. You live and die by the DP no matter what. If you have the meter, it has to be EX. Otherwise, a regular one is okay. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know if there's other defensive mechanics I should have mentioned. As always, make sure to like and subscribe. Check out my Patreon for exclusive perks and videos. Join our Discord to hang out with us. Follow my Twitter for updates. And I occasionally stream on Twitch. I hope you guys have a great day. Peace.